This is a killing challenge for white. It seems a little confusing, but it is not very difficult. The key here is sequence. So what's going on is that white can pull back this stone. It seems like black can capture this white stone. And what happens now is that there is a coat, right? Because white can come in this way, but black can capture this coat first like this. Or this can also be a coat. Doesn't matter the sequence. Or this. This is also a coat. But the problem is that after black's number two, what white can do is standing down here. And this is really annoying. If black increases eye space this way, this is not enough. White will capture this stone. If black captures now, white can come in, and there will be no more coat to play. Because black really doesn't have any real eye here on the corner. And black will only have one real eye, and black will be dead this way. So after number three, black is actually dead. But the problem is that black doesn't have to play at number two to capture this stone. Black can also play right here. And now, if white plays something like this, black will be alive. Like this. Or this. So white's best response is to just go back to our first variation. And hope for a co, like this. But co is not the optimal result. But after these first two variations, what do we know? Which move is the most important? And that is right here. This move is crucial, right? Because if black plays here, this will at least be a co for black. So white might want to try this first. If black plays this one, now we're back to one of the previous variations where black is dead. So black will have to capture this white stone. But having number one here on the first line is a very good shape for white. And white can simply come in like this. And black will not have enough eye space. This is the best black can try, but this will be a bulky five shape here in the end. So black will die after one and three. Of course, number three should be careful. If you play this, then white will die because black can throw in here and capture white like this. So that is why. Number three will have to be here on the first line. And there's no way black can save this one black stone because white has more liberties. And once we get to this point, black can only hope to increase eye space. And we're back to the previous variation where black will not be able to make a living shape. Overall, this problem is a little tricky, but once you figure out how the code works and which move is really key, you should be able to figure out that standing down here should be the first move. And once you find this first move, the rest of this problem should be relatively easy. Hope you enjoyed the pattern and good luck.